Hello. Today, I thought what I would do is test out the new SRT capabilities of the Blackmagic Web Presenter uh, streaming encoder box. Uh, recently, Blackmagic came out with a new uh, release of the firmware for the Blackmagic Web Presenters, the HDs and the 4Ks, and they now support SRT in addition to RTMP. And SRT is a lower latency streaming uh, protocol that is intended more for content, content contribution rather than um, streaming uh, broadcast streaming. So one of the challenges you'll have if you're running RTMP as a content contribution protocol, so streaming from a web presenter into someone's broadcast as a contributor, is that the latency is fairly high uh, compared to something like a Zoom or a... Um, you know, video.ninja or vmix call or something of that nature. SRT gets it closer. Um, so I don't know that it's going to be quite that low latency, but it but it will be closer. So uh, I thought what we would do, since I happen to have uh, vmix and I happen to have um, OBS, I thought I would do a quick test and set up some custom XML for the contract contribution from the web presenter into both vmix and then OBS. This is the web presenter setup software. And it is also where you, so this is where you would upgrade the firmware, but it's also where you would go in and um, configure things. So you can see that we have YouTube SRT beta, which is fine, but I don't broadcast to YouTube right now. And I'm not sure if that's an open beta or a closed beta. I'm not sure how you get access to that. So what we need to do is create a custom uh, a setup here. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to go into vMix um, because vMix is the first destination that we're going to try this out with. So we have a new vMix screen here. Um, There's definitely not a tutorial on how to use vMix, but uh, anyway, we're just going to add an input. vMix is a switcher. Um, I use it more as like a character generator because I use a Blackmagic ATEM as a switcher and then I use a, a Blackmagic streaming encoder. but. Anyway, uh, you can think of vMix as similar to an ATEM or similar to a TriCaster or OBS or whatever. In vMix, we need to add a new input. So we're going to go to Add Input. We're going to go to Stream SRT. Now, there are any number of options here. We're going to go to SRT Listener, which makes us the listening party for the web presenter to then connect into. And port 5000 is fine. Of course, in production, we would use a passphrase, but for our purposes testing here, we really don't need it. So we're gonna say, okay. And I'm gonna turn audio off because there's a good chance that we'll get some feedback uh, coming through that we don't want. Uh, but anyway, so this is a new source listing on port 5000. Now, if you go back over here to the web presenter settings application, there is not a way to just go in and, and configure, um, you know, like a, an SRT stream. So what you need to do instead is you need to create an XML file. If you look at the Blackmagic manual for the web presenter, they have some information in here about how to set up a streaming XML file. And what I've done is just taken this template and then configured it with the SRT details, which are um, just shown a little bit further down here. Oh yeah, you can see I searched for SRT. There you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've just taken this um, just taking this template from the manual. So now I have over here in Notepad++ an XML file, Web Presenter vMix SRT, and I have the name as vMix SRT 5000. That's my port. Um, my server name, I'm calling it vMix SRT 5000, and that's on this Dell XPS on port 5000. And then I am running 1080p 30. Uh, at 7.5 megabits. So this is the XML file that I have. What I need to do now is go over here and load that file. So web presenter vmix SRT XML. Great. Okay, and you can see now that it has loaded it. It's got the quality figured out. Um, I don't have a key or a passphrase, which is actually correct. And now, you know, moment of truth, let us get rid of this and get rid of this. In theory, if I hit on error, it should show this broadcast going into uh, the vmix. And it does, so look at that. So you can see now we are broadcasting from the Blackmagic Design web presenter into uh, vmix. 
So great. The thing with this is you could, of course, this is on the same network for me, but the idea probably would be that you would have a remote guest who perhaps has whatever level of sophistication of live streaming setup that they have uh, sending from a Blackmagic web presenter over the internet to your vMix listener. And so this vMix instance would be receiving this feed usually over the internet perhaps from some remote contributor. And then they can sort of manage on their end however they want to manage things. And, you know, and then whatever the uh, SDI input that's coming into that web presenter is, that's what's going to uh, get sent over to the remote vMix instance. And then they can use that as an input in their production and, you know, set it up however they want, switch to it, picture in picture, you know, whatever they do within vMix. So that's, that's how this would work with vMix. Now let's try OBS. I've taken the example template from the Blackmagic manual and put it in a text file. One tricky thing about this is when you copy and paste from, at least when it's when the PDF is open in a web browser, you'll see that these uh, quotations are the actual correct quotations that you would typeset with, but it's confusing my editor, so I've had to go through and, and change those to just the, the standard ASCII double quotes, not the UTF-8 encoded fancy ones. Uh, anyway, so now we've got this um, example here and we need to change it so that it's going to work with OBS. So we have, uh, let's see, OBS SRT, we'll call it. Uh, and our server is going to be called OBS uh, CG Mac Mini. That's the name of this computer. And we need to change this to uh, let's see if we can get it on 5,000 over here as well. I don't know. Um, and then we're going to say over here, uh, we're going to say, oh, I don't know, 1080p, 30 FPS, uh, 7.5 megabits. And so I want to change this to 30 because everything that I'm running is 30, 30 frames per second or 29.97. So keep it consistent. Let's go ahead and save this. Uh, not there though. Let's save it in our documents and we can call it web presenter OBS SRT. Okay. Now, uh, same procedure. We should be able to go over here to our, uh, black magic and we still have our VMix. So let's actually get rid of that. So if we go into the little cog wheel and we say remove, in theory, that will remove, yeah. So that'll remove all of the custom stuff that you've added. It doesn't mess with the built-in ones, but it'll take out anything that you've added. So now we need to load in something new. Of course, we could have left that vMix. Yeah, that's fine. We could have left that vMix one, but we just didn't because we don't need it. Um, all right, we're going to leave all that alone now. Before we start broadcasting, though, we need to actually set the source up here. To set up a source in OBS to use... SRT as the provider, what we need to do is actually create a media source. So that's how they do it in OBS. So the media source in this case is going to be our web presenter HD SRT, right? That is where it's going to come from. And then this is a little bit counterintuitive to me, but the way you do this is you go to input and you say SRT colon slash slash uh, CG Mac Mini. This is local. This is actually the local host for me. And then, uh, you set mode to listener. And so in theory now, when we, uh, let's just make sure we're not, okay, let's make sure we're not trying to broadcast anywhere. Okay, so we turn this on. We have nothing, right? But we have our blank source. Now, if we go over here to our web presenter and we click um, on air, look at that. Now we have our broadcast going into OBS as a source. And then of course you could go in here and do, you know, whatever you wanted with, uh, with the source in OBS. Again, generally this would be a remote presenter, not on the same network as you that's contributing remote video into your feed, but you can see it's pretty low latency. Um, so it's not, not too bad. Um, this would work, I think for, for an interactive conversation, whereas with RTMP, you know, frequently you're going to have latencies in the several second range, which just isn't really suitable for an interactive conversation. So it's not good for content contribution.
So that's our video for today. We've uh, taken a quick look at the new SRT capabilities in Blackmagic's web presenter line uh, as of the firmware they announced at IBC this year in Amsterdam just a few weeks ago. So seems like it works uh, with both OBS and vMix providing SRT remote contribution. So that would be you know, pretty useful if you have um, collaborators that happen to have the hardware already. Uh, now it's added some additional capabilities that could be useful for your production. So hope you've enjoyed. Thanks so much.